Brainiac, Science Abuse often shortened to simply Brainiac was a British entertainment documentary show that aired on Sky One from 13 November 2003 to 30 March 2008. It was created by executive producer Stuart Morris and Andy Milligan. During each episode of the show, numerous experiments are carried out to verify whether common conceptions are true such as whether it is possible to run across a pool of custard or simply to create impressive explosions. The experimenters on the show are referred to as brainiacs, and each episode usually finishes with the destruction of a caravan. The original presenters were Richard Hammond and John Tickle, who were joined in the second series by Charlotte Hudson. Hammond and the original production team left after the fourth season, and was replaced by Vic Reeves and Hudson left after the fifth, and was replaced by Tyla Zuki. On 28 July 2008 Sky cancelled the show saying it had been taken as far as it could go. History Series 1 Series 1 featured a wide variety of experiments including testing to see whether a mobile phone would ignite petrol vapors, walking on custard and testing the effects of electric shocks on various brainiacs. Topic: <laughs> Series 2, 2004. Series 2 saw the start of Brainiac Snooker, in which world snooker professional Quentin Hahn would pot the last six balls on a table into pockets connected to fuses which, upon potting a ball, would cause a caravan rigged with a different explosive to explode. The second series also introduced Charlotte Hudson as a third, but minor, host, and saw the introduction of what then became long-term character, Professor Myang Lee, played by Rachel Grant. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Series 3, 2005. Series 3 featured Brainiac Golf, similar to Brainiac Snooker, but exploding caravans filled with different substances that exploded with colored flames depending on the chemicals used. Lad V, Lass, Thermite. Does being electrocuted affect your ability at work? Human Statue, Flair Bartending, Darts Player. Things the instruction manuals don't warn you about. 47 Second Science, Diana Ross and her chain reaction, and testing which things break and which things bounce after a 10 foot drop. Dr. John P. Kilcoyne, Associate Dean of the University of Sunderland, had a regular slot where he mixed various chemicals to see whether they fizz or bang topic <laughs> series 4 2006 Series 4 introduced Brainiac Darts, during which Bobby George threw a perfect set, always finishing on the double top which triggered the explosion of a caravan, and a new I can do science me which is set around auditions. There is also a feature called Things What My Body Does, in which a member of the public is filmed doing something extraordinary with their bodies. It also featured Movie Stars Destroying Cars and Dr. John P. Kilcoyne with Glow or Blow.
It also introduced a new feature called Brainiac for a Day, where contestants could bring an item of their choice to blow up. It was set out as a game show with the hosts Dolly Girl, Lisa Marie Burke, previously Jane, in the Lad V. Lass segment and Dolly Boy Stefan DeBert. Topic Series Five Two Thousand Seven Series Five retained Brainiac for a day. Things what my body does and contains new segments like Brainiac v Beast, Dr. Kilcoin with Fizzle or Flash, and Professor Myang Lee Rachel Grant with Steel Balls, attempting to shatter or shunt various objects. In addition, Vic Reeves appeared as the Russian scientist Uri Abuzakov, along with his assistant Ursula, attempting to destroy things with liquid nitrogen. In this series, Reeves took over as host from Richard Hammond, who had left the show. Hammond's growing commitments to Top Gear and his contract with the BBC meant that he was finding it increasingly difficult to fulfill his role as presenter of Brainiac. Hammond was also reportedly losing interest in doing Brainiac. Reeves was brought in as replacement host shortly after the end of the fourth series and before Richard Hammond's near-fatal crash. The original production team including executive producer Stuart Morris, series producer Richard Greenwood and series director Peter Eyre left the program at the same time as Hammond. Topic. Series 6, 2008 Series 6 saw the return of Vic Reeves as host and John Tickle as co-host. Tyla Zuki replaced Hudson as the third co-host and made her debut on the series in two items, How Hard Is Your Thing? in which she tests the hardness of different objects using thermite and a ton of bricks dropped from a crane, and shocking acts, in which she finds out whether variety acts can still perform while receiving electric shocks. Other new segments included Gas Bang Wallop, featuring a character called Barry Bernard who destroys things with gas. Chemistry Death Match, in which regular characters Dr. Bunhead and Professor John Kilcoin go head to head to produce the best experiments. Custard Dreams, which follows the adventures of a brainiac who discovers he can walk on custard, and stars in their caravans, which sees a variety of UK celebrities trapped in caravans, in a mock game show which results in large explosions. Competitors Gail Porter Frank Bruno Paul Daniels Debbie McGee Jane Middlemiss Waza Thompson Anthony Wurl Thompson Tony Blackburn Wags Danielle Lloyd Abby Titmus Keeley Hazel Topic Forged Results At least one faked result has surfaced the alkali metal experiments the experiment aimed to illustrate periodic trends in the alkali metal series. It showed the violent reactions of metallic sodium and potassium with water, in which the hydrogen produced subsequent explosions, and intended to demonstrate the even greater reactivity of rubidium and cesium by dropping them into a water-filled bathtub. 
the reaction was not particularly spectacular, and the crew substituted explosives for the alkali metals. A wire connected to an off-screen detonator can be observed on the bathtub filled with water for a brief moment during the cesium experiment. The Brainiac staff have admitted that the explosions had been faked. According to Tom Pringle, Brainiac's Dr. Bunhead, very little occurred in the real reaction of cesium and water, as the large volume of water over it drowned out the thermal shock wave that should have shattered the bathtub. The crew decided to set up a bomb in the tub and used the footage of that explosion. Similar experiments with cesium or rubidium have been repeated. These include popular science columnist Theodore Gray's experiments, the Viewer Special Threequel episode of Mythbusters, and an attempt made as part of the periodic table of videos series created by several faculty members at the University of Nottingham. In no case were the rubidium and cesium reactions nearly as violent or explosive as depicted on Brainiac. An earlier and more successful attempt was shown on British TV in the 1970s as part of the Open University programs. Here, rubidium splatters around as soon as it hits the water's surface with some parts sinking and creating more violent bangs. Cesium, on the other hand, does create an explosion and destroys the apparatus, mainly due to the fact that the metal sinks well into the water and creates a large cone of hydrogen gas before it ignites and explodes. This video is available online at the Open University. Topic music Brainiac, science abuse plays music in every episode, including hits by Britney Spears, C&C Music Factory, and Elton John. Some are themes of various recurring segments such as There's No One Quite Like Grandma sung by the St. Winifred School Choir for the Granny Brainiac segments in Series 3. The I Like Hard Things segment normally features heavy rock music such as Linkin Park or Limp Bizkit. The segment I Can Do Science, Me uses the track I Am a Scientist by the Dandy Warhols. Various segments over the course of the show featured music by Andrew W.K. The title music and many of the incidental tracks used in the show were composed by Grant Buckerfield. Most of the music was changed to generic production music for the DVD release. Topic. Transmissions Topic Series Equals 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 Specials <laughs>